Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka Drive. I'm bringing you guys a brand new video today, and today we are actually going to be doing a reaction video to Young Young Tales and their brand new animation attempting my first Pokemon Nuzlocke. Now you may have seen on this channel, I've done a couple videos like this with Janet Animations and a few other awesome creators, and I reached out to Young Young Tales, and they said, "Go for it, get a reaction video out there." And I had so many of you guys in my comments, in my tweets, and beyond say, hey, Drive, you gotta react to this video. And apparently this guy has a love for bug types just like I do, and that just struck a chord with me. If you don't know, I play Pokemon every single day here on the channel, so be sure to hit that like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. We've got a lot of awesome Pokemon content coming out with the new Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl games, Legends Arceus, I'll be Nuzlocking all of those. We're gonna have a blast with that. And of course, don't forget to check out the original video in the description below and show some love to Young Young Tales. Without further ado, let's take a look at this reaction and let's have some fun with this incredible first Pokemon Nuzlocke. All right, here we go. I always love doing these and they're just a blast. I've done probably, I don't know, 40 Nuzlocke's at this point in my life. So it's always great to see other people's perspectives, especially on their first and let's see what we got here. All right, before we begin, I need to go over a few things. I have never done a Nuzlocke before. Okay. I guess this technically still doesn't count as one. I don't know. It depends how strict the whole Nuzlocke community is. But basically, I abide by all the rules of a typical Nuzlocke where I name them so I get attached. And if they faint, I can't use them anymore. But the additions that I add is that I can catch any bug type I want. If it faints, I can't use any of that same speed. Wait a minute. I didn't realize this guy liked bug types that much. Oh my gosh. So, under these rules, I can technically run out of Pokemon. Got it? Good. Okay, I have to time out, and I'm gonna have my editor add this. KG, show how many times I've done a bug Nuzlocke. Every single game. I don't mean to take away from his video here, but I have legitimately bug Nuzlocke or bug playthrough every single game as my first playthrough of the game since Generation 6. X and Y, Oras, Sun and Moon, Ultra, not Ultra Sun and Moon, I did a ghost one for that, but that's because it was the same game. Sword and shit, every game! I've done, let's go Pikachu and Eevee too. I always do bug playthroughs. This, I'm already invested. Grab your popcorn, use the restroom, get comfy because we're in it for the long haul, baby. Oh yeah, also I should mention that I've never played this before. So that should be interesting. Here goes my Pokemon kind of sorta, but not really Nuzlocke. I love it, I a love it. A long time ago, I witnessed a finals Pokemon match where the upcoming challenger took the throne I like that. as the new Of course, champion. Jaden Animations. And ever since then, that very moment motivated me to one day embark on my own journey. Today was the oh day God, that I'm me so and excited. my neighbor Hop became official Pokemon trainers. Hop's older brother Leon was none other than the undefeated champion. I like Galler, the square faces. he was faces. going to endorse both of us so that way we could compete in the Pokemon gym challenge. And I was like super hyped because I wanted to oh for my the longest God. time assemble the most powerful bug team. Don't judge me. Oh I like my bug God. Pokemon, all right? Unfortunately, Leon didn't have any to start out with, so I chose- My whole Shining Sword series was about bugs. Ah! Gobble, I named Sops, my very first Galarian Pokemon. Right off the bat, Hops challenges me. And at first I thought a 1v2 was a bit unfair, but then Sops quickly learned Water Gun and swept Hops team. Hmm, I wonder if this is what our future encounters are gonna be like. I was about to leave on my journey, but oh my Hops goodness. needed help finding a stray Wooloo. So navigating through the foggy forest, we didn't find the Wooloo, but some weird giant dog. It was pretty random stuff, but we did end up finding the Wooloo. Take your sheep. All right, now we can officially leave. Strapped on my Tanjiro box of a backpack, and together with Sops, our journey has officially it. begun. Route 1, we ran into some of the new locals. Ugh, why is everything so weird? <laughs> oh, oh, thank goodness, finally something that I actually recognize. Ugh. <laughs> what happened to you? I wasn't entirely sure That's if funny. there were any bugs in the area, but Caterpie. sure enough, Grubbin. I found this thing called a Grubbin, and I named it Woomps. My very love first it. bug Pokemon. Yeah, I am good, excited good to see what you'll become, Woomps, since I've stopped paying attention after Unova Region. Oh, you're gonna be excited. What bug? <gasps> Shoutouts to Orbitz, by the way, who was on my team, and Orbitz was incredible. I remember it being at the very end of the the the, the Elite Four with me, and oh, what a sick sick new design, uh, Orbital. And just like that, I had Sops, Woomps, and Blinks. We didn't get that far into the journey when Hops challenged us yet again. Anyways, fun fact, Blinks evolved from the battle, so thanks Dottler. with free Very SP cool and money. This old lady and another lady named Sonya were watching, and they were like, dang. All right, you can participate in the gym challenge. Well, why, thank you, random people I just met. 
I feel like I didn't really need your permission, but I appreciate the support. <laughs> Off to Moto Stoke City. We arrive at something called the Wild Area, and that is where I run into a Carablast. Ah, and if very you don't nice. know, Carablast's evolved form as Cavalier was like super cool, super strong, and would make a great addition to the team. And I really wanted one because I've never had one before. But then I unfortunately remember that you need to trade for it, and I didn't have anyone to Aww. trade with, so this thing was pretty much useless. Moving along the way, we barely avoided complete catastrophe when Sops almost died to a level 30 Pillow Swine. Why are there those, such dumb uh, Pokemon, Pokemon here? Dolls. So carefully navigating through the wild area, we arrive in the city, beat up some members of Team Yell and this girl named Marnie in the hotel lobby so I could get my room key. Hey, <laughs> what a cool statue. Woke up early, smiled and waved for the opening ceremony, shook hands with Chairman Rose, and pushed on to my first challenge. Just outside the- He's gonna fight a sizzlepeed! City on route. On a side note, before I go further, I remember being on Route 3 and I legitimately spent like two hours looking for Sizzlepeed in my bug playthrough the first time because it's like a 1% a, a or a 5% encounter. It's very, very rare. And I didn't know you could use Flash Fire at the time. Anyway. I was doing some exploring in case there were any bugs in the area, but after a while of no luck, we pressed on. Along the way in some cave, Wooms evolved into he something. He missed it! Interesting. He and missed Sizzlepeed. Bundle of joy. Bade. We Mushu. just had a nice little discussion about his personality, and then after exiting the cave, I found a Joltik I named Lucas. That's and together cute. with Wooms and Blinks, bada bing, bada boom. Holy crap, this is what Dynamax Pokemon battles are like. The first gym badge was ours. Well, you know, you evolved. Nice. <laughs> On the way to the next town, we were I having love this a guy. conditioning session to get Lucas. I'm a little up to sad that he it. missed Sizzlepeed, though. He doesn't know what he missed. The rest of the team and you know what i must say things are really starting to look up for my bug team and i was sure that lucas would add so much value especially considering the fact that the next gym was water type we got this in the back ah uh, miracle lucas no a stupid wild wobbuffet was able to perfectly counter lucas's attack and cause the team's first death fearing the same thing would happen to my other pokemon we ran in shame. Lucas wasn't with us for long, and we may not be able to get revenge now, but Lucas's death gave us the spark to really zoom through Poor our Lucas. next challenges. Welcome to the team, Zweeps. Cutie fly. Uh, yes, it's my rival. It's time to show you how strong I am. Let's have a rem- Out of my way. You just gonna use spark with charger bug? <laughs> I love it. I don't really like you, dude. And Whip your attitude on. sucks. Also, where the heck do you think you're going, Harold? Our next gym challenge was Kabu, home of the bane to almost all my bug types. My newest member, Harold, was pretty you much have useless a here, so Sops was going to have to carry this one. Going through the challenges where we had to team up with randos and catch Pokemon for points, I thought it was a good idea to use my recently evolved sweeps since it was the best choice to clear each one. But on the final challenge, draw oh, got hit by a poison move and perished. Okay, I honestly felt pretty guilty about what happened, but how the heck was I supposed to know that the other trainer was gonna betray me like that? Mm. You monster. <laughs> we can mourn later. We got a badge to win. I like we it. Burst through the gym doors and it was game on. Sop took out the first two Pokemon pretty easily and then it was time for Kabu's ultimate Pokemon. Ah. Finally, before my own eyes was one of the coolest bug type Pokemon I have ever seen. Easily one of my favorites. Such an impressive beast, and I was super jealous. But now I can unleash my secret weapon. It was time to show my fifth Pokemon. <laughs> You've been hidden way too long, but it's time for you to come out. Let's go, Grievous. Oh, he had one too. Basically a while back on Route 3, after asking around, I caught a Sizzlipede, and you know what? I absolutely loved it. Trained it and primed for a moment just- This was good, he baited me. He baited me hard, man. He had a, he had his own Scorch. Like this. Now let's see whose Scorch was better. It was an intense battle between the two fiery centipedes. Based on appearance alone, it would have seemed like Kabu's Scorch had the upper hand since it was much bigger and unfortunately cooler looking. But Grievous's flame was fueled by the innocent blood of sweeps. And in the end, that is what gave us victory. I love it. Yes. Oh, I'm so proud of you, Grievous. That's so great, I dude. I'm just I am. Double yes. 
After some training, Harold really toughened up by evolving into a Galissapod. I love it, the bugger not. How about that? And then we picked up Skarner the Squirupi along the way to Hammerlock City. He's no sweeps, but I'm sure he'll he be He doesn't evolve into a bug type though! Shortly after, I ran into Hops once again, who was feeling pretty down about himself because apparently he lost to Bade in a Pokemon battle, so... It was up to me to be the good friend that I am and help him feel better. By beating him up. From there, it was on to the fighting type gym, where Blinks got real... psyched up. I like it. If you know it. what I mean. Clean sweep, badge four. But after Easy. the battle, just Orbital outside, such a sick we found out that Bade, Mr. Ooh, I was endorsed by the chairman. Ooh, I'm so special. Ooh, everyone is beneath me. Ooh, thought it was okay to blast some hole in some ancient sacred art. It's a mistake, Because man. he was entitled to it. Are you sure your name isn't like Karen? I tried to give him another beatdown lesson with my Skarner, but then he ended up getting a critical one hit by Solus's Psybeam. That'll do it. <sighs> Of all people to lose a Pokemon to, you've got to be kidding me. I just got you. Vengeance. <laughs> well, Bade got in a lot of trouble for what he He's did got anyway fairy gym and next ended too. up getting kicked out of the league. So I don't feel bad for him at all. Huh. Well, that looks important. <laughs> on, replacing Skarner was Jerry the Dwebble I found and quickly evolved. Look. I was running out of bodies to fill these Pokeballs with, so I had no other choice. I was beginning to be concerned about Woomp since this whole time it hasn't evolved yet. I really wondered if I was like missing something, but shortly after- Fun fact, Vikavolt is my mascot nowadays. Uh, going back to the Sun and Moon era, go get yourself a Thunderstone! Afterwards, Woomp's rummaged through my bag and found a Thunderstone I had earlier and evolved. I had this suspicious feeling that the next gym leader, Opal, primarily uses fairy types. Just a hunch. And you know, gee, it would have been real nice to have somebody who could deal with fairy yep. types right about now. Just said that. If it wasn't for a certain person. But even so, Woomps and Grievous managed to sweep right through because fairy types are stupid. Except for you, Sweeps. You're good. On the way to the next town, another explosion goes off. Sonia and the old professor lady are there and they give some explanation about two brothers. Darkest day, giant Pokemon running rampant, really giving me some Attack on Titan vibes. That's creepy. So I left them to go deal with that, and I moved on to Route 8, where I picked up Nom Nom the Snom. Yes. Gordy was the sixth gym leader. Oh, uh, I gotta say, man, Galar was great for bugs, guys. It really was. Like, Sun and Moon did bug types justice. Galar did bug types justice, man. Frostmoth is beautiful, too. Rock type Pokemon, but they quickly sank under the brute force of Harold and Sops. Oh yeah, and Jerry spamming dig. Then it was on to Pierre. All right, well, this gym uses nothing but a bunch of dark types. So, wait right here, Nom Nom. Blinks will watch you. We'll be right back. Give me that. <laughs> okay, let's go. That was cute. Okay, two times could just be a coincidence, but three times, turns out giant Pokemon are spawning all over the place. Fear of times rising. I had this feeling that this was only the beginning of something really bad that maybe I should help. But nah, they told me to go focus on getting my last badge. <laughs> okay then. And that might be a challenge because the last gym is home to Rayhan and his dragon Pokemon. I like which it. Which are known to be tough, Big resistant dragons. to most types, and are pretty this versatile. This is such good animation. I it love was it. kind of a good news, bad news situation. The good news is, is that Nom Nom received 10,000 grams of friendship to evolve and give us the ice advantage. Ooh. The bad news is, is that she is literally the definition of a glass cannon. Meaning yes, Nom Nom big strong against dragon types, but if Nom Nom touch candle or pebble, which dragons are more than capable of throwing, Nom Nom go bye bye. So as we went in, the entire team had one objective on their mind, protect. Nom nom. This time it was it's in the double form battle of a double too. battle. And making sure they didn't get any chance to gain momentum, Harold and Nom Nom made quick work of his Flygon and Gigalith. But then came out his big bad Dureladon and Sandaconda. You've got to be kidding me. Dureladon was literally the love child of Godzilla and a skyscraper. What, what could we possibly do against a building? I quickly switched Harold for Blinks, hoping that he could put it to sleep and then have Nom Nom finish it off with the Aurora Beam. But at the last moment, Blinks became paralyzed from the Sandaconda and Nom Nom's attack wasn't enough to take down the Dureladon. No! And before I could switch both of them out, Blinks was smashed. No, Blinks! You did well, Blinks. You did your job. 
Sops and Jerry came in, and even though they both became paralyzed by the Sandaconda, Jerry couldn't land a single dig, they were able to stall out Dureladon's Dynamax form, giving Harold the opportunity to come back in and brick break the crap out of it, I and finally it. deal with that pesky snake. The last gym badge was ours, but we lost Blinks. A true OG Blinks of the was... Bug Squad and provided so much value to the team, I was not sure Orbito if I could find sick. anyone to fill his spot this far into the journey. I think Sonia was trying to talk to me, possibly about some more end of the world stuff, but I was too sad about Blinks to really pay attention. A world without Blinks is not a world worth living anyway. I had to take a few days off to prepare my team and our newest member for the final challenges, but once we were ready, we arrived in Winden City oh, baby. and stepped through those He's got a good team though, he can, he can beat Leon. Finals. Almost there. Marnie and her dark Pokemon were up first, and this is honestly the best time as awesome. any to debut the newbie. So I brought out Gaia, the yes, Cavalier, ah. aka formerly useless. <laughs> yep, that's right. And stacked with a sword stance, Gaia became he made a, a little trade powerhouse skis. and swept the entire team. Then we had one final match between me and my rival Hop. Yeah, you probably already know how that went. Sops came out for one last fight, and we ended the rivalry. Yep, it really was his last fight. And honestly, not bringing Sops into the final match was probably one of the hardest decisions I had to make so far. My very first Pokemon, and the one that has watched over all of his teammates and saw them grow into the team they are now. But I believed with this team, yeah. Jerry, we had the best chance of winning. Sops will Bug be squad. with us in spirit. I gotta pause. I gotta, I gotta pause. I'm gonna go see what my final team was for Leon real quick. I need to go see it. Okay, I just went and looked. This was my final team for my bug lock against Leon, which was uploaded on November 30th, 2019. And you, ha I had Overdrive, the Vikavolt, Ant-Man, the Durant, Mushu, the Scorch, Orbits, the Orbital, Fire Exit, the uh, uh, Galisapod, and Snow Cone, the Aurora Veil, Light Clay, Frost Moth. That's epic. So very similar teams, right? We had... Three, four members, the same essentially, right? Uh, he lost his his Orbital, but uh, pretty close. He went with the, the Crustle over the Durant, but Durant was really strong. Wide Lens Hustle Durant. It happened in between leading up to the semifinal to final rounds, but to summarize, celebratory dinner, evil staff of the key, tall building, crazy secretary lady, a tiny hint that Rose is actually bad and was behind the explosions, but meh, that's totally not a cause for concern. Ew, it's bait again, but he's less of a douchebag. Boom, boom, smash through the gym leader rematches and Gaia bonks Durelodon in the face. We land in the finals. Boom. And now we have come face to face with champion Leon. Every battle, everything we have been through has led us to this moment. It was time to show the world just how powerful my bug Pokemon truly are. And never mind, Rose is evil, <laughs> and apparently the darkest day has begun. Well, that sure complicates things. Way to read the room, dude. No, this video's long as it is. Whatever. I will go save the world, I guess. Using 200 IQ, Hops was pretty sure that the dog we ran into at the very beginning was important and That's could fair. help us, so we headed back to our hometown to find it. And trekking through the creepy woods, we don't find the dog, but a rusty old sword and shield. I guess those will have to do. We rush back to Hammerlock City's power plant and we find Chairman Rose going off about Galler's power supply crisis that's potentially coming in 10 years. And to stop it, he summoned this Eternatus thing, hoping he could control it and harness its power. Why wouldn't you do that? You summoned a what now? Just my opinion, man. But a plan involving control of a legendary being with powers beyond understanding usually doesn't end up going. <laughs> Basically, your plan is stupid. Rose didn't like that, and he was going to try stop me with his team full of steel Pokemon. So I left Grievous to deal with him. I head upstairs to find Leon. <laughs> I left Grievous to deal with him. What the heck is that? No, 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 no. That's a Yu-Gi-Oh monster, not a Pokemon. Not what a kind bug, of Pokemon dude. would look Could've like that? Bug. I quickly found out that almost none of my Pokemon would be able to damage it without dying. So, uh, uh, Jerry, go! Jerry made it mad. Internatus then turned into this giant starfish thing. Yeah, that didn't make a whole lot of sense. And then we're like, uh, uh, Rusty Sword and Shield! The dogs show up, birds <laughs> with the stuff, and we defeat Internatus, where I catch it with a teeny tiny Pokeball. Crisis averted.
Three days later, after one of the largest tangents ever, you know, saving the world, we are finally back to our it's game match. time now. Here we go. Today, we finally face off against Leon. Womb stuck out with a quick claw boost and was able to take out both Aegislash and Rhyperior. Don't ask Energy me how ball, many nice. I need to get through to find one. Leon's Dragapult was a tough one, though. I was hoping that Nom Nom would be fast enough to take it out, but Nom Nom was outsped and was met with a flamethrower. Yeah. I'm sorry, Nom Nom. We couldn't protect you that time. Rough. Grievous came out and was able to coil up and crunch the crap out of the Dragapult, as well as leech life the monkey for some healing. And then Gaia was able to win head to head against his Haxorus. And then finally, his last Pokemon. Yeah, if you don't have Flash Fire Center Scorch, this is but something even here. even though we outnumbered him five to one, I didn't feel any better considering the fact that his Charizard still had pretty much every advantage over Fly all my moves, Pokemon. fire moves, and then he has To deal with his Charizard, I had three choices. Harold, who could hopefully beat Charizard with water attacks, Wumps with electric attacks, and then Jerry with rocks. I sent out Harold first, hoping that he could end it right then and there, but Charizard got the first strike, and with a powerful air blast, Harold was one shot. Oh crap. I sent in Wooms hoping for another Quick Claw Boost Thunderbolt, but that too failed, and Wooms was burned to a crisp. Two of my strongest Go Pokemon with the big lasagna, and my crab. best chances to beat Charizard were both wiped out in an instant. At this point, victory was very bleak. If Jerry dies, Charizard will have no trouble defeating my remaining Pokemon, and it will be over. Jerry, you weren't our strongest team member. You might have sturdy. Not in the butt of many jokes, but right now, you are our last hope. Oh, we're screwed. Jerry stepped onto the <laughs> battlefield, and Charizard raised a stone wall that came crashing down. Sturdy! And staring into the face of imminent defeat. Well, I might as well surrender at this point. Spare the rest of my Pokemon. But Jerry was still standing. I was just... Ah. I don't know. Chunk it up to high defense or the fact that Jerry had a giant rock to protect him. No, it was like the true power Aww, of that's friendship. Cool. This was our chance. I made Jerry jumbo sized and we showed that oversized Barney what it's like to get squashed by a giant rock. And it was at that moment we won. Nice. We completed the Pokemon Sword, kinda sorta, but not really Nuzlocke. I, I count it. was it. a bittersweet moment since Gaia, Grievous, and Jerry were the it. only ones who survived. But even so, this victory goes just as much to all the other team members who brought us to where we are now. Lucas, Sweeps, Skarner, Blinks, Sops, Nom Nom, Harold, and Woomps, you are all champions. Some might say that this is a good place to stop I like that he's be wearing satisfied. his cape. But now that I'm here, I realize that my journey isn't over. Achieving this title of Bug Champion of Galar is not an ultimate goal, but a mere stepping stone in my life. So with my team, I am setting out to continue on my journey, because I am sure somewhere out there, more challenges are waiting for me. Oh. And I say, bring it on. Let's go, baby, let's go! Give me a bug showdown! Give me a bug showdown, Young Young Tails. I listen. I went into this not knowing how much bug love this guy had, and I feel like we need to have a bug showdown, my dude. So I'll have my people talk to your people, and we we gotta have a bug showdown. We gotta have a bug showdown. Oh baby, that was awesome, dude. That was awesome. Guys, show some love. Go check out the original video in the description below. Like this one. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And keep an eye out for my bug content if you like them bug types like I do. I mean, I have a giant butterfree hanging from my ceiling. You already know. We're going to be throwing down for Brilliant Diamond Shining Pro on Legends Arceus over the coming months. And have a blast with that. This was a real treat, man. True work of art. And I, I, oh man, I, that was, that was great. That was great. I'm out of here, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Peace.